Now, let's move on to choose your own adventure stories within Google Slides. Now, this is one of my favorite things to do. It does get a little bit fiddly, but I must say it is a great thing to do for different holidays and end of the year or a whole range of things. And I normally pair students up when they're doing this and they work on it together and they have so much joy and so much fun when they create them together. So I've just simply created some very simple little ones here to give you some ideas. So this is called the Rainbow Unicorn and then you can simply click on here to start and it will take you to the next slide. Now what I've done is you can see I have recorded the story. So when you click on the moat, it will read the story aloud. The Rainbow Unicorn lived in a magical castle. He was bored of living in the castle. What should he do? So it's reading the story and creating an interactive story. Then students can click on the other moat buttons and it will say, leave the castle and go on an adventure or stay in the castle and be with his friends. And what you can do is you can actually link the button. So when this is in presentation mode, students can simply click on this and it will go to the next slide. You can see there, I've already linked it. Now, when you are doing this, you can also change these icons. So you can simply go up the top here where it's got replace image and you can search the web and change it to different things, but you can change it and create amazing things that students can link and change their stories. And again, you can create your your own buttons you can add your voice recordings to them and then by simply clicking on link it can go to every slide in this presentation where you can then link it to the next slide these are fun and engaging ways students love setting these up popping on their headphones going on little story adventures i know when i was growing up these were some of my favorite books to read we got to pick different stories and decide where the story would go now with halloween just around the corner spooky stories are another great way and as i mentioned earlier you can upload your own sounds so here you can see i have got halloween Halloween sound here. Oh, cool. oh, that's so this is a sound that I've just been able to grab, but you can ah! create their own Halloween sounds. They can compose their own and then simply upload it to Moat and insert it for their spooky stories. You can create and change the icon. So here you can see I've got a mushroom, but when I hover over it, I can play. In the dark, dark night lived a small boy to create the story. So here I've got yes, and I can simply click on replace image, search the web. I can search a pumpkin icon, and then I can select which icon I would like. So I can select this one and hit replace. And then what it does is it changes that. So I've now got that there. And then when students click on the word yes, it will take them to the next slide. So students can have a bit of fun. They can create all these different sort of adventure stories that really take them on a journey that they can create fun and engaging stories. 